guys, it's Angie, and I just was um, coming here to show a, a few quick projects that I had done and got inspired by some other YouTubers um, for some quick, you know, little Christmas gift ornaments slash bags, I guess. Um, so the two that were I got inspired by um, was this adorable little ornament junk journal. Isn't that so super cute? Um, and this was, um, I got the tutorial from Charlotte Peterson, and she's here on YouTube, and I'll leave her link below. And uh, she called these ornament books. And then this this one, I got inspired by Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking, and she called this ornament mini book, and she has this under her 12 Days of Christmas. So I'll show you that one. Um, so this one, like I said, was from Charlotte Peterson. And I'll have her link and Rose's link below. But she called this little ornament mini junk journal, I guess. So on the front of it is a little wreath. Isn't that... Uh, I just fell in love with these, Charlotte. Thank you so much. Just, you're so inspiring. I just love love your channel. And then I um, hung some dangles off of here. And here's the spine. I just put a button on the side there. And I grunged mine up. And then I just kept mine simple... Um, on the inside, I had some eyelets of the closure, but you can totally go to town on in um, in each signature. You know, you can put your tucks, pockets, you name it. So there's just some tea stain paper, some dictionary paper, and some heavier weight paper as um, anchor pages or anchor cover anchor covers. So that has three signatures, and there's the inside paper. I just love these and I just think they're just great gifts. You can even put like, maybe you could do a gift card in here too or something or, and give it as a gift, but I just love it. And so I use seam binding to the closure, but aren't these adorable? Oh, I just love it because they're small and they're super, super cute. And I use some Tim Holt punches to make the wreath. And so all it is is a ring and then you put the um, punch, punched, um, Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's just call them parts. <laughs> um, to make the wreath. And then this is just a little tiny um, little salt dough clay gingerbread mat. And I got this from Hobby Lobby in the miniature section. And then I just added a little tiny miniature pine cone as well. So it's kind of dark. They're kind of grungy and really dark. So I made a few of these as gifts. And so, like I said, I used um, some dangles of snowflake and um, some glass beads. So that was that. And this one is a trifold um, little mini ornament. And Rosa attached hers with some Velcro. You can use magnets, but I end up just wrapping or seam binding around it. So you open this up. And um, I kept mine simple, but you can definitely go crazy with this. And this was, again, from Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking, and I'll leave her link below. Um, Anyway, so you open it up and it's just a trifold and you can add pictures, like little 2 by 2 square pictures um, in there on front and back. So these, I, I thought these would be cute to add as to and from tags on top of gifts. So um, that was that. And uh, here's another one. So this one is just a key that I put here. Same little thing. I just think, aren't they adorable? And like I said, you can do the to and from and put them on your gift as a to and front. So that's kind of what I was going for on those. <clears throat> and these I just did um, really quick. These are just, I have a bunch of wood discs and I just made little snowmen out of them. I'm sure they're all over the place and find different ways to make them. But all I did was just use some wood glue and hot glue um, to make my snowman. And then I just used smaller pieces for the hat and then I used a Tim Holtz eye hook um, to screw to screw it on the top and just some wax thread for the hanger and again like one of those punched out bows for the little neck and a button so I just kept mine really simple I, I love these These again can be ornaments on top of gifts you know on top of a um, like a, a box and then um, a box gift and then this on top so yeah so these are just some quick ideas for you guys and these are just some glassine bags that I um, kind of grunged up. 
And I'm going to put my little gifts inside here. So these were just um, stained. And then uh, this is some seam, seam binding that I distressed, I guess we'll call it. And then here's like a Santa printout that I got off at Etsy. And there's some glitter on his beard and whatnot. And then some bitty bits and more of those punch outs that I had left over and just use those. So there's the back. And then here's something else, just collaged a little bit different. And I just use the safety pin on there and then the star, glittered star. And then this one right here. And then I distressed that a little bit, made it really grungy. And then the bitty bits and then I tied the string around it, give it some I don't know, some dimension. I love using string. I love using all kinds of things. <laughs> and this one, I just, um, this one, the star kind of dangles off the safety pin here. But again, collage stuff. collage work, music paper, tissue paper, and a uh, little paper doily on this one. Oh, and these ones have actually doilies under, underneath there and some wrap behind the back. And so that on all of these, what I did is... Um, I took the seam binding, wrapped it around, and tied it over here on the end. And I use a little Tim Holtz a tiny attacher to anchor it over here. This one's like a super, super grungy one. Here's a super grungy Santa. Grunged up this seam binding. Add my texture. I did actually all of them have some sewing, or some of them have some sewing on it as well. Did a zigzag stitch and a key here, and just some seam binding here, and a little bit of doily peeking out, out on this on this side and there's the back so yeah these are really cute they're um, you know fun to use up your scraps of paper I'm just getting into junk journaling and um, more into the paper um, world so it's been a lot of fun and I've been so inspired by all these paper artists slash crafters and I couldn't thank you um, more Charlotte for being so super kind and being so helpful and thank you, Rosa, for um, inspiring me to make these for Christmas because they're super cute and I love them. And I hope I gave you a couple ideas, so make sure you go follow them. Um, they do both have tutorials on, on how to make these, so if you go there now, I mean, they don't take you very much time at all, especially these. These are super, super quick. So um, I hope everybody's enjoying their last couple of days before Christmas and um, I hope everybody has a wonderful Christmas and we'll, we'll see you new. We'll see, see you new. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye.